All right, pictured here is a little proto board setup. This is a bank of eight LEDs that you see counting in binary. Uh, I can have them count in any method that I want. But uh, what we're looking at here is the pickaxe. This is a pickaxe 18M2 chip. Under he over here, it's a little hard to see. This is a cable that jumps over. Is an MCP 23016 similar to an MCP 23017? It's a multi. It is a 16 um, pin I/O. Gives you two 8-bit output input ports, and it's based on the I2C protocol from the pickaxe. We're going to be looking at the programming of this and this, this is very easy to program a pickaxe to do I2C. It's a lot, lot easier than Arduino. While a pickaxe chip may be a little more pricey than an Arduino cheap clone board, uh, it really has some powerful, easy-to-use features for those that are just introduced to microcontrollers. So, this is going to be part of a beginning part of the series on uh, how to program the pickaxe. I had a few things on pickaxe on the site, one or two things, and I let it go a year or two. Now, we're going to go through a bunch of stuff. And many of the applications and ideas that we use here can be applied to other microcontrollers such as Microchip Pick and to some extent Arduino. So let us begin our journey and explore the PickX microcontroller um, that uses BASIC. Here is the electrical connection for your uh, PickX. Disregarding blinking LEDs and other stuff your, ser your serial data is off on port B.1 and your clock is on B.4. This is, if you can see it real well, this is the MCP23016. I have your serial clock and your serial data connections down here. On these pins that with 4.7K pull-up resistors to VCC, that is the only connections you have to your pickaxe microcontroller. You also have to have this RC clock circuit here. It's a 3.9K resistor and a 33PF capacitor. These select your address A0, 1, and 2. I grounded them all so I could have 0x20. Here are your LED connections on GP0, um, point 0 0.0 through GP0.7. It's just straightforward, eight LEDs, eight 470 ohm resistors. Your actual program is here. The entire program is here. I specify uh, what type chip I'm using, an 18M2. I'm going to use the default internal clock, which can go anywhere from 31 kilohertz to 32 megahertz. I'm going to use the default 4 megahertz and comment out set frequency. If I want to change the frequency, I uncomment it and change it to whatever I want. List it down here, up to 32 megahertz. I wanted to use the default 4 megahertz as you will see below. You saw in an earlier, now this this LED, this is going to be my B0 is going to be my variable. It's going to be num1. Now I went ahead and blinked the LED on B.3 that you saw in the earlier diagram. Down here just as an indicator. That's all it does. I set up my, if you go to here, I set up this line here sets up the connection to the, from the 
pickaxe to the MCP23016. This is your I2C setup. The address for the 23016 is 0x20, but you have to shift left one bit. This is your commands, this is your address, this means it's fast, and it's going to be doing it by bytes. This is just comment passed here. When the, pro the program itself will shift it back one place right to 0x20. In order to write, I'm, first thing I'm going to do is set the I.O. direction registers for the MCP23016 to output. And they're located at 6 and 7. So um, HI2C out. That's all you have. That command, you have your address, and then you can put in ever how many bytes, and it will store them sequentially. I had to change these direction registers to outputs because on default, when it comes up, they're all inputs. Now I'm going to make my LED high. It should light. Now we're going to go into main. And it's just a for loop, and it's a for loop inside of the main loop. I'm going to count num from 0 to 255. I'm going to output to 0. Let's find the registers. It, this is your register locations for the MCP23016. Zero, whatever you write to zero is going to light up the eight LEDs at GP0. If I had LEDs connected to GP1, I would write to one hex and so forth. So I'm going to use the I2C out, location zero, whatever num is. I'm going to toggle the LED. If it's on, it's off. If it's off, it's on. I'm going to wait a half a second. Pause 500 is in milliseconds. Note, if I had changed the frequency back up here at set frequency, say I set it for 8 megahertz instead of 4, then pause 500 would be 250 milliseconds. This thing does not adjust its pause delays based on clock frequency. Change the clock frequency, you change the pause. And I'm just going to count through 0 to 255, outputting the value to the 8 LEDs through the I2C, toggling the LED on and off. And that's your whole program. So, have fun.